everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Today, we are going to visit a lovely dairy farm. From there, we will learn about the spoilage of low-fat milk. Do you know what milk is and where it came from? Okay, let me tell you. Milk is a nutrient-rich white fluid that comes from mammals such as cows, goats, and many In the morning, before going to school, I'm pretty sure that all of you had breakfast. Your mom will serve you a bowl of cereal that is paired with milk. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what type of milk that you eat together with the cereal? Hmm. If you're not sure which kind of milk you had, let me introduce you to the types of milk in the market. General types of milk found in the market are low-fat milk, full cream milk, skim milk, evaporated milk, raw milk, and flavored milk. However, in this video, I will emphasize more on low-fat milk. Have you ever drink milk with an unpleasant taste, scent, and lumpy texture? If yes, did you fall sick after a few hours or maybe a day? If yes, that means you accidentally consume spoiled milk. Oh no! In this video, I will teach you how milk spoilage can occur, the sign of milk spoilage, the effect if you consume spoiled milk, and also ways to prevent milk spoilage. Alright everyone, let's begin! What do you guys think if we left the meat on the table for two to three days out of the fridge so we can see in the morning we find that the meat has spoiled wait a minute how can this fresh meat turn into spoiled meat this morning so it happens when you open the meat and leave it at a room temperature for a long time the bacteria from the air will get into the meat then the bacteria will grow where they eat some of the protein and sugar inside the meat. Hence, the bacteria will produce acid that is toxins and cause the meat to clot. So, what we can do in such case? Needless to say, we need to throw it away. This is because if we consume the spoiled meat, we may encounter various health issues such as food poisoning, vomiting and diarrhea. 